students. The early education in universities sets standards for the industry. Today it's the other way around. The industry is driving the universities in terms of what it needs to be taught, how it needs to be taught, what are the application areas, things like that. Digital transformation both in education and industry and massive cutting edge automation have been the change agents. Industry 4.0 is reshaping the university education. Though many industries in India are yet to fully come to terms with Industry 2.0, Industry 3.0. Today's episode, I'll take you through some ideas of how a university could reinvent itself in the current onslaught of technology. Let's see how. 10 major technologies have changed many sectors, especially manufacturing around the world. Artificial intelligence, machine learning, robotic process automation, blockchain, internet of things, cognitive computing, intelligent apps, virtual reality, 5G and DevOps. These are the 10 different technologies that have almost taken over the industry. There is no equipment that we use today that is discipline specific. Multidisciplinary is the new code. Even the lead time from development to market has come down greatly. Whereas telephone took 75 years to develop, the web took 7 years to develop, Facebook just took 4 years to develop, Instagram just 2 years, chatbots were developed in 6 months and Pokemon Go took just 1 month. And you know how the game is played and what it means to the, this generation. It is amazing to look back at 2006 when we did not have access to an iPhone, an iPad or Kindle, the virtual library of more than 1.5 million books. We did not know 4G or Instagram or Snapchat or even WhatsApp that we so extensively use Today. 5G was unavailable till last year. Today's skills have a shelf life. Students entering colleges now may end up working in completely new jobs or job types that didn't exist when they took admission. Today, new skills and improved cognitive abilities are required to succeed. Besides the technology cited, abilities such as scaling IT infrastructures, cloud sourcing everything, reaching consensus on data and analytics, changing and connecting processes from production to management, analyzing performances or KPIs and creating appropriate ecosystems, cooperating in multidimensional workplaces are all skills that are required by the industry. Industry 4.0 creates an amazing hybrid of Internet of People and Internet of Things. Hence, apart from technical skills, a student must possess abilities of complex problem solving, critical thinking, creativity, people management, high emotional intelligence and coordination with others. The influences of this change are artificial intelligence. Globalization of teams and the social media. Anybody can remain anywhere, discuss, do different things differently and so on. A high level of skilling, upskilling and continuous skilling is needed today. Universities must shift to interactive and immersive components of teaching and learning that address personal learning needs. Personalized education is extremely important. I'll study what I want as I look at the market and the university must allow me to do that. Since not everything can be taught, acquiring micro credentials or fractional credits becomes the future, becomes very important. Blended hybrid learning with cost effective options, they all must be explored. Now, Industry 4.0 
has cyber physical production systems or what we call a CPPS with smart machines, storage systems and production facilities. They exchange information on the fly, triggering actions and control each other independently in applications such as manufacturing, engineering, material usage, supply chain and life cycle management. The first industrial revolution used steam to generate power. Whereas the second used gas to do the same. It also gave rise to telegraphs and railroads. The third digital revolution converted analog systems to digital. And with great speeds, the fourth industrial revolution based on self-optimization and self-cognition is customized automation of manufacturing processes and flexible mass production technologies or FMS systems as we call. Like a student is at the center of education 4.0, customer is the king in industry 4.0. He, he will dictate what needs to be produced, how it needs to be produced and when it needs to be produced. Industry 5.0 is about 3P bottom line, profit, people and planet. Survival of the planet, everything else survives. That's industry 4.0. In the early 90s, the Japanese auto manufacturers occupied the first seven positions among the top 10 manufacturers of the world. Outbeating giants of the time like Ford Motors, Chrysler, General Motors on cost performance ratios. It was possible due to 90% outsource manufacturing to other countries. Digital manufacturing was the key. That disruption is the entire manufacturing supply chain is now transforming and evolving into Industry 4.0. Universities and the technical institutions, some of them built more than 100 years back, need to relook at their businesses. Adoption of technology and quality needs investments. They all need money. The faculty too must be trained with compulsory internships. With chat GPT like chatbots available now, <coughs> Google will soon be timed out. The current generation is extremely agile and informed. In a world where the industries are integrating the real and the virtual seamlessly, can the universities afford to not do so? Prince, it's now imperative that our universities and institutions add value to their businesses by collaborating with industries and the best from amongst themselves, lest they be ousted from their perch. With the entry of foreign university campuses and the digital virtual avatars of the future universities, and they must accept to live with the chain that is happening around them. Friends, reject and live without it is no longer an option. And with that, I end today's episode with a promise to be back the next Saturday with another episode that I'm sure we, I, you will like and will also converse with me on some of the questions that I pose and the thoughts that you may have. Until then, thank you. Dhanivad and Namaskar.